Hi there. My name is Dina Falcone. I'm an herbalist, educator, the author of Foraging and Feasting and Earthly Bodies and Heavenly Hair. And what's happening right now, we are in late, late fall into early winter and it is bark study time. So I'm going to share with you one of my passions is bark ID. It sounds a little nerdy and it is. So what we have right here in our midst is native black cherry, Native American black cherry, Prunus serotina of the Rosaceae family. And here is a magnificent Native American, North American tree. And how are you going to ID it in the winter? That's really what we're talking about. What goes on here with its bark? And we have here in our um, presence, I'd say a tree that's probably 40 years old and the bark really changes. I'm going to show you a younger bark in a moment as well. But how would you describe this bark? And we're going to get to that in one second. I also just want to share with you what's amazing about this tree. How is it used for food and medicine? This tree has fruits that hang down in these long racemes that we can eat. So it's a, it's a wild cherry and they're black when they're ripe, but you don't eat those seeds. Cherry seeds have cyanic acid or pro-cyanic glycosides. So you spit those seeds out, you eat that fresh seed. What else is amazing about wild cherry or black cherry, this Prunus serotina, is that it is considered an, an excellent herbal medicine related to upper respiratory and also related to digestion and lower gut issues. So it's used as an antispasmodic, an anti-inflammatory and astringent. So you're gonna use it with intense coughing, with cough spasming, with gut spasming. So you've got a very nice ally here and it's the bark that's used, not this rough outer bark, but the inner bark that's used. And what else to say? So the inner bark is used, but it also has hydrocyanic acid, potential toxicity. So you're really using this only when needed for short periods of time. Um, and again, if you're pregnant, you're not gonna use it. So, but this is a really wonderful anti-spasmodic herbal ally. So let's now get into showing you what the bark looks like up close. Getting involved with the bark here. What do you think this looks like? Sort of a burnt, chippy bark reality. So it's dark to black. When the chip comes off, you can see that it's red underneath. Um, it's turning, curling these chips and it's very peely, it's very barky. And again, you have that beautiful red brown underneath but this you could say has gra uh, gray <laughs> gray ground gray um, to really blackish and again just for you to let your eye roll over this bark and really take it in the idea is for you to imprint the pattern so you know this tree from its bark where are you going to find this native american beauty in usda hardiness zones three to nine in full sun to part shade, in moist to dry soils, not floodplains though, and in fields, in woodlands, in forests, in disturbed soil sites. Here I've picked a branchlet for us. Part of ID is that you smell black cherry. So you actually wanna scrape it. So you're scraping and smelling and it should smell like funky bitter almond got that so you want to make sure that's happening i actually find it very pleasing but it might not be appealing to everyone and then other things that occur with this black cherry is black knot so this is a fungus that attacks it so you'll often see that as well and next i just want to show you up close uh, winter bud and winter arrangement. Here's a beautiful view for you of the black cherry winter buds happening right there. And you can see that they alternate because the leaf arrangement on black cherries is, is alternate. We've just climbed up on top of a wood pile to bring down this young cherry tree so you can see what black cherry bark looks like when it's young and it's quite shiny smooth gray and it has these light gray horizontal 
lenticels. So that's happening, hoping you can see that. So this is the kind of bark you'll see in young trees or in new growth of older black cherry trees. All right, now it's time for me to get down. <whistles> Make bark study be part of your winter reality. You know, I'm super excited about bark study. And if you like this and you'd like more on foraging and medicine making, check out my online course, Wild Food Health Boosters and Herbal Remedies at wildfoodhealthboosters.com. See you next time.